All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're here for some more Dragon Ball Z Kakarot, and today Goku is going back to the past. So as you all know, DLC 5 is revolving around the OG Dragon Ball anime, specifically the 23rd World Tournament arc. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great. They're adding Tien Shenhan as a new playable character and a ground battle system. How crazy is that? Hopefully it drops sometime this month. That would be awesome. Anyway, what if CyberConnect2 decided to create another OG Dragon Ball DLC pack, but before the three year time skip, before the 23rd World Tournament arc? Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think about that. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Today, we're going to be playing as a Kid Goku mod. Massive thanks to Evil Saiyan for creating this. I'll be sure to have them linked down below in the description. Now, it doesn't necessarily work in the open world aspect of the game, which is totally fine because this mod dropped about three years ago two or three weeks before the release no two or three weeks after the release of dbz cat crap <laughs> so it is pretty outdated uh we're gonna go ahead and use the time machine like i said at the start of the video goku's going back to the past we're going to fight some enemies that will kind of make sense to the og dragon ball anime without further ado make sure to drop a like on today's video i'll greatly appreciate it and let's go ahead and fight our first opponent Let's go! We have Kid Goku versus Piccolo! And I know that Goku went up against Demon King Piccolo, but we don't have a mod of that character, which is totally fine. I still think this is pretty dang cool. <laughs> I also went ahead... Oh yeah, look at that! It's pretty surprising to me how some of the recent mods work with this very old Kid Goku mod, right? I, I thought they would kind of clash and just break the game but no that's not the case at all so we have the dragon combo string the blue aura Ooh, with the stun break already we also have the red aura this one actually makes sense because based off the v-jump scans of course regarding to dlc5 adolescent goku's aura is red so it, it just makes sense to me we also have the orange dragon combo y'all already know <laughs> And I like how everything scales down to this version of Goku, right? <laughs> like the aura doesn't have these silhouettes of adult Goku or anything like that. You know what I mean? Because sometimes mods don't really correlate with other mods. But <laughs> everything is working just fine. Um, let's try to use some of these super attacks. So what I was trying to say before is that I tried to equip some of the attacks that this version of Goku would actually use. So, of course... Rock, paper, scissors. We also have Dragon Fist. Now, this one is supposed to represent the Ozaru punch that he defeated Demon King Piccolo with. I don't know. I'm trying my best out here. <laughs> we also have Energy Blast, which I don't think... Goku used this at all in the anime, but you know, it's one of the basic attacks that DBZ Goku has. And of course, the iconic Kamehameha Blast. Let's go! <laughs> Look at all the camera angles. <laughs> they don't scale down to this version of Goku, which is totally fine, man. Oh, the stun break. We have the cross combo string right here. <laughs> The square combo string where he utilizes the dragon combo knockback just like that and the triangle combo the pressure attack y'all already know oh ah, perish piccolo oh and since we're over here at mount pauzu let's go say what's up to grandpa gohan <laughs> let's actually try to create a unique story so let's just say piccolo is trying to gather all seven dragon balls for whatever reason and since Goku has the four-star Dragon Ball, he's trying to protect it at all cost. That's a pretty cool story, I think. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but let's say Piccolo is trying to revive Demon King Piccolo, right? For they can both rule the world or whatever. I'm not too sure. And this is one of the other reasons why I'm looking forward to the release of DLC 5, because Y'all know whenever they include official mechanics, abilities, or just different features in general, modders will try their best to implement all of that in the main storyline of DBZ of this game. So if they try to include the ground battle system in the main storyline, 
you know, not exclusive to DLC 5, that would just be the best because obviously this version of Goku doesn't know how to fly at this time. So ground battle mechanic with this Goku mod would just be extremely accurate to the anime. All right, let's try to utilize some of the super cinematics. And I don't know if you noticed. Yo, what the? What the heck? We have giant Piccolo. What? <laughs> Yo, giant Piccolo versus Goku. I got DLC 5 early. <laughs> Yo, the bootleg version, right? I guess you could call this DLC 4.5. <laughs> Yeah, this is my ultimate transformation. What are you talking about? It's funny because they kind of scale out, right? I'm playing as this version of Goku, and that's not necessarily Piccolo's true giant form. What was I trying to say before? I low-key kind of forgot. <laughs> Yo, Piccolo just broke my ankles right there. Um, oh yeah, I think it was the voice setting. So, some of you guys probably noticed that I changed the voice setting to Japanese because I feel like the adult voice of Goku suits Kid Goku the best instead of the adult English voice of Goku, right? I don't know. I'm just trying to make this as official as possible. <laughs> we have to make things fair out here. Since Piccolo transformed, I get to use the Kaoken transformation. Hey! <laughs> Yo, this is my alternate version of the Dragon Ball timeline, all right? I don't even care. <laughs> I was trying to make things as accurate as possible, but nah. Nah, we have Kaoken Kid Goku over here. <laughs> Let's see if we can fight all the way over here, right by the waterfall, just because I feel like the aesthetic will be cool. Look at the sky, the lightning, the thunder, the debris, man. This is awesome. Y'all have to leave a like for this. Oh, oh yeah, Surge Kyle Ken. Eris Piccolo. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Let's try to enhance the combo string. Oh, I think he's going to activate Surge. Yep. I, I think that's what ruined. Uh, the transformation or his transformation. <laughs> All right, what haven't I used? Energy blast. Yeah, that doesn't have a cinematic. I think I already used rock paper scissors and Kamehameha. So let's try to finish the battle with Dragon Fist. Whoa! Wait a minute! I think he transformed again. What the heck? I think it's whenever I use the ultimate rock, paper, scissors cinematic. I think that's when he transforms. Not too sure. But it looks like he's stuck. Yeah, I think he's glitched out. Oh, wait. I could use the dragon combo to try to knock him out of the wall. Yo, that was strange. That cinematic right there. Oh, I think he got out of it. He's not glitched anymore. Yeah, it worked. Sweet. I don't know what I did, to be fair. Alright, we have to deplete the stun bar. I don't think... Yeah, he's going to die before we do that. So let's just use the normal version. Perish Piccolo! Ah! Woo! Cannon to my timeline. We're now replaying this part of the story mode just because we do get to free roam a little bit. However, we have to stay in this part of the world, which is totally fine. This is right before Goku and Piccolo fight Raditz. We do have Yajirobe right over there, I believe. Yeah, yeah as y'all know, he's part of OG Dragon Ball. And we also get to utilize Flying Nimbus. Check this out. Yo, what the heck? This is literally the Dragon Ball DLC pack. <laughs> First, I got DLC 5 early. Now I got Dragon Ball Kakarot early. Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and fight this robot. Hey, they're part of Dragon Ball as well. The Red Ribbon Robots? No way! <laughs> ah. Alright, let's activate Surge. And then... They're only level 2, so... They're probably going to lose with ease. Yep. Alright, very easy. The world of Dragon Ball is just pretty great in general. This is it for today's video. 
I'm looking forward to DLC 5, so that's like the point for today's video. Just leading up to the 23rd World Tournament arc, right? With this very unique timeline. Thank you guys for watching. As always, I always appreciate the immense support. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Yes, you're